What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot here, where I bring you the beauty juice, spiritual juice. I am your spirit guide host, Miss DC. And today, you guys, we are back with another general reading for this sign of Aries. Please understand this will not apply to every single Aries, as every single Aries is not going through the same scenario. Cross watchers, anybody outside the Aries energy, you're more than welcome to join in, tune in, but please utilize this information for the most positive purpose. Spirit told me to talk to you, so I will be talking to you guys with my Ink Romancy Tarot deck. For more information, it will be in the description box below. Without further ado, Aries, I'm talking to you. Let's see what we have for Aries. We have the Aries. Oh my goodness, Aries, you're dropping something, you dropping something, and you big, I feel like you big time dropping something, you letting go of something, maybe you wasting time doing it, I feel like, I feel like you dropping something, and this is what is so crazy, bro, I did a reading on an Aries earlier today, and this was the very first card that popped out. I was doing a personal reading for an Aries. And this was the very first card that popped out. Y'all, y'all dropping something. Y'all are no longer holding on to something. I feel like letting it go, like, I feel like it's like, yeah, I, this shit is hot. It's I feel like you're holding on to something and it's hot. It's like it's 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 burning you. Like it's like it's burning you. And it's like you need to drop it, but you haven't dropped it. And Aries have, you know, Aries have um a tendency to go back to resort back to what they knew wasn't good for them. And usually trying to move forward, they usually move backwards. And I feel like whatever this is, it's like it's hot in your hand and it's like you need to drop it, but I feel like you're still in a sense kind of holding on to something. Oh, a feminine energy, a feminine energy. So this message is probably also for the guys, okay? For the masculine energies. Now, I'm not going to just say the guys. I should have said the masculine energies. You're dealing with a feminine energy, and Aries is a very dominant fucking sign. Like for the men, the men are, there is not literally a feminine by a bone in their body. Like masculine, that is a full-fledged masculine sign, Aries, more than any other sign, I feel like. But you're dealing with a, you're dealing with possibly a karmic individual, somebody that you've known, somebody that you think is beautiful, but they're not really in a stable place. I feel like maybe them being broke, I, them they're, them being broke makes you broke. So it's like birds of a feather flock together. So as long as you're holding on to this person, you're going to be just as broke as they are. And it's like, you're not going to grow. You're not going to be where you want to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to be where you want to be because you're hanging around and you're doing shit with broke motherfuckers. It just is what it is. Whoever this feminine energy is, they broke. I feel like this could be two, um, two women, a feminine, feminine situation. I feel like this, no. You remember I said, you remember I said it's hot and it's burning? look look at her like somebody's hands are on fire she her whole body is red just like whatever they're holding on to so i feel like i feel like aries you're gonna go and you're gonna take a risk a positive risk you're gonna try something different you're gonna do something i feel like out of your norm possibly with an Aquarius. And I say Aquarius because this is the, the full card is the card of Aquarius, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on, let me just double check that to make sure. Oh, 
Okay. Is the full card the card of Aquarius? Y'all know Siri be tripping. Let me see. Hold on. Is the full card the card of Aquarius? Y'all. The full card. Okay, so this is literally not really one. Hold on, y'all. My apologies. Let's see, the full represents new beginnings, but I'm trying to see who the card represents. Air sign, the air element. Yes, next card is the magician. I feel like it's the card of Aquarius. The depiction is new beginnings, innocent, a leap of faith. Yeah, so it is the card of Aquarius, if I'm not mistaken. So Aries, you may be dealing with a Aquarius and I feel like you wanna build with them. I feel like you wanna take a leap of faith and you wanna build with, you want to build with some, I feel like you want to, I feel like whoever this risk, whatever this risk is, I feel like you feel like is on a whole nother motherfucking level and you are wanting to build with this person. Like you want to offer them, you might want to offer them something, but I feel like you're looking at this person like, oh my God, this person is genius like this person is just like wild this person is just fire and yes like strength i feel like i feel like somebody else is like damn i feel like you're looking at this person and then your friend walked up behind you and was like damn is that your girl or is that your dude like that's what you're dealing with. That joint look weird or seems weird, but has a genius ass mind. Like shit. I feel like you and your friends are going to watch. It's like, damn, you got somebody else that was more powerful and whoever you're dealing with prior to cannot touch this new person. They just can't. Look at that. It is. It's an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. The fool is coming in with a plan. This person coming in with a plan. And they 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 coming in with a plan to take over. So whoever it is that you dealing with, Aries, they coming in and they're making a plan. And they and they and they gonna make sure I feel like that it's equal give and take. The masculine energy is the masculine energy, but I feel like. The masculine energy, it's like if a guy and a girl are together or a girl and a girl or a guy and a guy, whoever is the more dominant is like, look, I'm letting you, the not the feminine one, I'm gonna let you be dominant, but I'm 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 masculine man for real. Aries, I don't care if you're a girl or a guy, you the most masculine one like shit. If you don't, you better. 